Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 were no standard shuttles. They were carefully planned with strong designs and a pivot rate in excess of multiple times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This configuration limited noticeable obscuring, permitting the space apparatus to catch pictures and information at the same time while going through space. Even before their experiences with the external planets, their extraordinary imaging abilities began to dazzle researchers and the public alike. The rocket began sending images of Jupiter a few months prior to finishing its central mission. These early pictures, exhibiting whirling mists and the famous Great Red Spot, charmed crowds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, it was the revelation of dynamic volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that really took the spotlight. Io, marginally bigger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically dynamic body in our solar system. The space apparatus instruments detected continuous signs from Io, which were confirmed by the vivid pictures it captured, revealing towering volcanic crests and a surface scarred by volcanic material discharges. One of Io's most conspicuous volcanoes, Pele, erupted with a force multiple times greater than Mount Everest, covering an area almost the size of France. As the space apparatus cameras ultimately shut down to save energy and memory before their excursion into the interstellar region, it's worth noting that the pictures they caught did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons. Notwithstanding Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, NASA has also worked on other remarkable shuttles, such as Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Explorer 1 outperformed Pioneer 10, marking the moment when Pioneer 10 became the most distant rocket. Explorer 1 continued its solitary journey for an additional 14 years before entering the interstellar medium on August 25, 2012. Although no other extraordinary space tests were in sight to follow, NASA did not publicly report this significant accomplishment until 2013. The strain arises due to gravitational lensing studies proposing a lower value of S8 than expected by the standard cosmological model based on cosmic microwave background, CMB, data. Efforts to resolve the S8 strain have driven researchers to explore various theories, ranging from potential systematic errors in the data to fundamental changes in our understanding of gravity. Contemporary reproductions, including the Flamingo Project, have played a crucial role in providing insights into the complex interaction between dark matter and gravitational forces in shaping the cosmic web. Despite the challenges posed by the S8 strain, many measurements taken at low redshifts and from the CMB remain consistent with the standard cosmological model. This has led to the exciting possibility that the universe may have undergone a significant evolution, challenging our current understanding of large-scale structure and growth. In summary, the S8 strain represents a substantial challenge to our understanding of cosmological structure and may require updates to current theoretical frameworks. Explorer 1 continues its remarkable journey through space, faithfully sending back valuable records from the farthest reaches of the universe. For nearly 50 years, this unprecedented rocket has reshaped our understanding of space. Yet, recently, Explorer 1 has begun transmitting disturbing data to Earth, leaving the entire space organization in shock. Are these unsettling insights the consequence of a technical glitch, or might they be signals from extraterrestrial sources? Join us as we uncover the truth behind these amazing transmissions. Since prehistoric times, researchers have been entranced by the mysteries that lie beyond our celestial boundaries. This interest led to the remarkable launch of the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 spacecraft, among other prominent space missions. These pioneering missions, celebrated for their achievements, began with the launch of Explorer 2 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. A few months later, on September 5th of that same year, Explorer 1 was launched. These twin probes, each weighing about 7,120 kilograms, comparable to a small car, were sent into space during a specific alignment of the outer planets, setting them on their remarkable journey. The explorers traveled in different directions and speeds, culminating in a pivotal moment on December 15, 1977, when Explorer 1 surpassed its twin. Since then, Explorer 1 has become an invaluable instrument, providing extensive data and unraveling space-related secrets. Before diving into Explorer's latest alarming discovery, which has profoundly stunned the entire space agency, 
Let's examine the incredible images captured by the spacecraft during its remarkable Jovian imaging mission. In 1978, Explorer 1 was positioned about 265 million kilometers from Earth. From this vantage point, it sent a diverse array of images back to Earth. In January 1979, the shuttle embarked on an impressive 100-hour mission, capturing time-lapse motion pictures displaying 10 rotations of Jupiter, a treasure trove of 3,750 images that allowed us to observe Jupiter's great movements in clear detail. Before long, Explorer 1 wandered through the Jovian moon system and made a significant discovery. A small ring around Jupiter and new moons, Thebe and Métis. This expanded our understanding of Jupiter's captivating space. To ensure a safe journey and prevent a possible collision with Titan, one of Saturn's moons, remedial maneuvers were performed. Explorer 1 continued its heavenly journey around Saturn, revealing four additional moons, Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea. With the completion of the Saturn mission, researchers decided to conclude the Explorer planetary mission, propelling both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 beyond the bounds of our Sun, speeding through space at an astonishing pace of 325 million miles each year. In January 1990, a new chapter began, the Explorer Interstellar Mission. During this stage, Explorer 1 captured some of the most iconic images in history, immortalizing the solar system and most of the planets. One individual who played a crucial role in extending the missions beyond their original goals was the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan. As a member of the Explorer imaging team, Sagan passionately advocated for one final set of images as a farewell gift to humanity. Against all odds, his unwavering dedication succeeded. On February 14, 1990, Explorer 1, positioned 6 billion kilometers from Earth, embarked on a visual journey, capturing what became known as the pale blue dot image. These stunning snapshots, totaling 60 in number, were added to the rocket's impressive collection of 670 pictures. During its encounter with Neptune, Explorer 2 achieved a remarkable milestone by recording wind speeds surpassing 1,000 meters per second, the fastest winds ever recorded in our solar system. As the spacecraft ventured 298 kilometers into Neptune's blue methane atmosphere, it provided significant insights into this distant celestial body. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was revealed as one of the coldest spots in our solar system, with surface temperatures plummeting to extremely low levels. Triton also exhibited fascinating features, including nitrogen gas geysers and ice volcanoes that shot debris five miles into its tenuous atmosphere. These extraordinary discoveries expanded our knowledge of the diverse and intricate celestial bodies inhabiting the farthest reaches of our solar system. Do not fade away. Explorer 1 has recently made one of its most frightening discoveries. However, first, we should review its accomplishments over the years. The achievements of the Explorer twin probes have been nothing short of phenomenal. Their early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons left scientists in awe and challenged previous assumptions about these distant worlds. Moons once thought to be dormant and barren, like our moon, were found to be teeming with geological activity. Explorer 2, in particular, accomplished several remarkable feats during its journey. It made history in 1986 as the first spacecraft to fly by Uranus, and only three years later, it achieved another remarkable feat with a flyby of Neptune. To this day, it remains the only spacecraft to have undertaken such missions. As the Explorer rocket continued its journey, NASA implemented various measures to extend their operational lifespan. Over the past three years, minor components and radiators have been deactivated to conserve power, ensuring that these intrepid voyagers can continue their mission well into the next decade, with an average mission end date set for 2030. For the researchers and specialists involved from the beginning, the Explorer missions represent both a moment of pride and a wave of nostalgia. Their unwavering determination and passionate efforts have surpassed initial expectations. The wealth of data provided by the Explorers has led to significant insights, spurred various scientific discoveries, and inspired countless researchers and space enthusiasts. Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 were not ordinary spacecraft. They were meticulously designed with robust structures and a rotation rate more than multiple times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This design minimized visible obscuring, 
allowing the spacecraft to capture images and data simultaneously while traveling through space. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, their outstanding imaging capabilities began to impress researchers and the public alike. The spacecraft began sending images of Jupiter a while before completing its mission. These early images, showcasing swirling clouds and the iconic Great Red Spot, captivated audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, it was the discovery of dynamic volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that truly captured everyone's attention. Io, slightly larger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The spacecraft's instruments detected continuous signals from Io, which were confirmed by the vivid images it captured, revealing towering volcanic plumes and a surface scarred by volcanic material eruptions. One of Io's most notable volcanoes, Pele, erupted with a force multiple times greater than Mount Everest, covering an area almost the size of France. As the spacecraft's cameras eventually powered down to conserve energy and memory before their journey into the interstellar region, it's important to note that the images they captured did not include Mercury and Mars for various reasons, notwithstanding Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, NASA has also operated other remarkable spacecraft like Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons. On February 17, 1998, Explorer 1 surpassed Pioneer 10, marking the moment when Pioneer 10 became the most distant spacecraft. Explorer 1 continued its solitary journey for an additional 14 years before entering the interstellar medium on August 25, 2012. Although no other extraordinary space missions were in sight to follow, NASA did not publicly announce this significant accomplishment until 2013. The strain arises from gravitational lensing studies suggesting a lower value of S8 than expected by the standard cosmological model based on cosmic microwave background, CMB, data. Efforts to resolve the S8 strain have led researchers to explore various theories, ranging from potential systematic errors in the data to fundamental changes in our understanding of gravity. Contemporary simulations, including the Flamingo Project, have played a vital role in providing insights into the complex interactions between dark matter and gravitational forces in shaping the cosmic web. Despite the challenges presented by the S8 strain, many measurements taken at low redshifts and from the CMB remain consistent with the standard cosmological model. This has prompted the exciting possibility that the universe may have experienced a significant evolution challenging our current understanding of large-scale structure and growth. In summary, the S8 strain represents a significant challenge to our understanding of cosmological structure and may require updates to current theoretical frameworks. The latest data irregularities in recent transmissions from Explorer 1 have reported unexpected readings that have left researchers baffled. These anomalies include unusual fluctuations in cosmic ray levels and unexpected changes in the spacecraft's magnetic field measurements. Some scientists have speculated whether these changes could indicate new, previously unknown cosmic phenomena, or even potential interactions with regions of space that have never been explored. One hypothesis is that the spacecraft may be experiencing a previously undetected type of cosmic particle or radiation field. Another possibility is that the inconsistencies could simply be due to technical issues with the spacecraft's instruments. However, given Explorer 1's power and the precision of its engineering, technical glitches are considered less likely than the possibility of genuine new discoveries. Technical glitches versus extraterrestrial signals, the excitement and speculation surrounding these anomalies have led to various theories. Some fringe hypotheses suggest that the data could be evidence of extraterrestrial interference or even communication attempts. While these theories are intriguing, they are not supported by mainstream scientists. The prevailing view is that the irregularities are more likely due to natural phenomena or technical issues. Nevertheless, the prospect of extraterrestrial signals captures the imagination and highlights humanity's enduring curiosity about life beyond Earth.